This is the Flextail Gear Tiny Pump 2X, the smallest in their lineup of portable air pumps, at least it was. Now there is the Zero Air Pump, 1.2 ounces. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this little unit, keep watching. All right, before we get started, just two things. First, I want to thank Flexteel Gear for sending out the Zero Pump so that I could share it with you. And the other thing is, is this is not yet available on the Flexteel Gear's website for sale, but it is available through Indiegogo. So if you're interested in getting one of these, now's a good time because you'll get some better deals there. All right, what we'll do is we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go through the specifications for this tiny unit, and then uh, we'll do a demonstration with it. All right, I mentioned a moment ago that this is only available at this point in time on the Indiegogo program. And the one that was sent to me by Flextail Gear is a pre-production model. And they've let me know what the differences will be between this unit and the one that you get on Indiegogo or afterwards when you purchase it directly from Flextail Gear. So first off, let me just share with you what it came with, which is this a two piece box, kind of a nice box. You know, it's just a nice little box. Um, yeah, we'll put that aside because of course that's not what the focus is here. It did come with a lanyard, which we will be putting on to this because it is so small. Um, I think it's worth having a lanyard on it. All right, here's one of the things that will be different when you get yours, should you decide to purchase. This is a universal inflation nozzle, but it's not truly universal. This is what they had available when they sent it to me. This is a 3D printed temporary, probably the best way to, to describe it, universal or nozzle. And it goes on this end of the device and it's held up against whatever air mattress you're going to use. It's not like the others where you'll fit one specifically to your air mattress. Having said that, that is the intent for Flextail Gear to provide uh, five different nozzles that will fit on the end so that you can customize it to the air mattress you have. Like many people like myself have numerous air mattresses and uh, they usually take different nozzles, but the, you'll get a variety of nozzles with yours when you purchase it. The other thing that's different about this is the battery. Okay, so maybe I should show this first. I want you to have a look. No charging port, right? No charging port on this device, and it will not be on the production version either. Rather, on the production version, the battery you get will have a USB Type-C charging port built right into it. Now, this is an RCR 123A lithium-ion battery. This one happens to be made by Nikkor and is a 650 milliamp battery. Really, you know, good little battery but mine did not come with a charging port, so I have to charge mine separately in a charger. Now, Flextail recognizes most people don't carry chargers with them, so that's why they're gonna include the port on it. So it's just an extra step to take it out and charge it separate from the unit, but you know, that's not a very big deal. Uh, okay, other than that, the production unit will be identical to this, just those two small things, the nozzles and the type of battery that you get. Okay, so that's the unit itself. Let's do a few specifications for this. So overall length, 3.1 inches. Overall diameter is uh, one inch even. So that's 79 millimeters by 25 millimeters, the weight. And here is the kicker, 1.2 ounces or 34 grams. And I say that for a reason, because this has previously been the smallest of the air pumps in the Flextail gear lineup. And it comes in at 3.38 ounces or 96 grams, almost three times the weight of this unit. Now, you are giving up something going from this to this. Basically, the lamp uh, is one of the things that you're giving up. So you're certainly, and maybe a tiny bit of performance, we'll talk about performance in a moment, but nothing you will recognize or nothing you'll, you'll be able to tell the difference of. And, and having done some testing, I can, I can verify that. So as far as performance goes, the, time, the zero pump has a pressure of 100 liters per minute at 2.3 kPa's uh, and will run time, and this is an estimate of 25 minutes. And I say that because um, it is based on how many inflations I could get 
on the air mattress I'm demonstrating with it. So it's kind of hard to say how long exactly it will run for most people. And again, I can't confirm which battery you will get with it. This is a 650 milliamp battery and whatever the uh, battery is will do, that comes with the one that you get will help determine the runtime. However, 25 minutes is still a long runtime considering the Tiny Pump 2X only has a rated runtime of 30 minutes. So I think that's pretty darn good when you think about it. Now, I, uh, just to show you the operation, I'll just quickly show you a little bit of close-ups on the outside of it, and then we'll get right into the demonstration with the air mattress. There is the on-off button. Small, compact, flush against the outside, and it's a double tap to that button to uh, start the pump up. That's it, that's all there is to this. So it's a very minimalist, type of a device as well. All right, why don't I just flip the camera around and we'll inflate my air mattress with it. All right, so I have spread out my Flextail Gear Zero mattress. By the way, I do have a review for this air mattress coming out as well. This is the type of valve that is two piece. What I mean by that is you, one flap opens up the inflation valve and the second flap, if you flip it open, is a rapid deflation valve. And so, as I mentioned, the filling nozzle that was sent to me for the testing with this is not the one that you'll get. You're, you'll get one that's fitted to whatever air mattress you have. So the easiest way to do this is just to hold it up right up against it. Now, I guess that's one of the downsides. You have to hold it here. You just can't put it inside of the inflation area and uh, leave it. So the on off button, double tap. I'll let this run in real time to give you an idea how quickly it works. And then you can hear the tone of it changing, so I'm finished. That's it. Listen how quiet that is. So much quieter than even the, the other models from Flex Tail Gear. All right, that's all there is to it. All right, let's wrap this video up with a few closing comments for the Flex Tail Gear Zero Pump. Do you know, I was just thinking of this as I was doing the demonstration a moment ago is that um, it would be pretty easy to leave this on the fourth floor by mistake and then not be able to see it because of its dark size. I mean, it's at that flat black anodized finished on the outside of the aluminum case. Uh, yeah. Uh, Flex Tail Gear, if you're listening, at least offer this in an orange version for people like me who uh, won't be able to see it if they put it down. I think that'd be a nice option to have. Uh, and really, that's not a negative. That's just a wish list for something, a slight improvement, maybe. Uh, as you saw, you do give a tiny bit of performance up going to this smaller size, but not very much at all. It's still inflated that air mattress really, really fast. It does a good job. May not have the airflow, may not have the pressure, but it's very, very clean close. Um, I really like the fact that this is this small, this light, this compact, this capable. I don't mind the fact that it doesn't have a power bank or it doesn't have a lamp in it. I have those that I take with me separate from this. Okay, um, I think you, it speaks for itself in its performance. What I will be doing, of course, is giving you all the information I have for it in the video description below and the link to the Indiegogo program if you're interested in getting in on the deals that are available for it right now. If you have any comments or questions to the best of my ability, remember this is a pre-production model. I will answer them for you. Just put your questions in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.